I'm Graham Rutgers and I'm the original and first owner of this car behind me and it's good to see it after all these years. Still in good hands, it's been in good hands over that duration and let's hope it goes to good hands in the future. It's not every day you get to drive into an interview in the latest HSV and talk about something you've had 26 years earlier and then talk about your HSV life all in the one segment. What makes the car special for myself is the, the actual journey of how the car evolved. I'd had a good year in 1994 and over the Christmas break, I was fossicking around looking to see what I could buy as a treat and I wanted something collectible. And uh, we went to, um, to various um, dealers just to see what was in stock here in Adelaide and uh, it didn't light my fire. Um, so I sort of ummed and about it and went home and then went back to work on January the 3rd and rung HSV. It was early days for HSV and we're talking about they're only in their eighth year. John Crennan himself took the call. He was there and I said, uh, John, I'm, I'm just looking for something different. I'm, I'm really looking for something I can collect. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling at the moment. And, and, and his response to me was, well, what I'm looking for, interesting you should say, was a car for this year's Sydney Motor Show in October. We wound up and he said, send me your wish list. All they had from me was a fax with a list of 17 items on the fax that I would like in a car over and above what was available on a GTS at the time. On the wish list was a number of items from performance to uh, appearance. When the car was ultimately finished, after some dialogue for the next 10 months, the excitement time really was going to the Sydney Motor Show and seeing the car on the rotisserie. From that, there it is, the GDSR. Essentially, that's how it started. He had a customer that was looking for something special. He had a need of his own. He put the two and two together and he fulfilled both dreams. It was the start of what we would call the, these days collectible HSVs. The, the resources were stretched stretched to the limit to, to bring this car um, to the market. 26 years later, here's a, a car that's lived up to all its expectations in terms of collectability. In the fullness of time, which is where we've arrived today, makes this car pretty special. You know, only 75 cars in Australia, 85 cars total. Um, is, is the first thing that makes it special. The second thing that makes it special is all the unique parts, you know, uh, from the, the, the trim, you know, you, there's no leather trim there. It's a, it's a specific fabric done for the car. And, uh, and and I'm sure anybody that's ever been blessed with the be able to sit, stick their nose in this car behind me, it still smells brand new today. There was a unique color that, uh, that John wanted as a showstopper color and he got that. There was a carbon fibre, which was part of my list. The car had to feature carbon fibre. It's just uh, uh, ahead of its time. Dark coloured wheels were a non-event, okay? That's how far John and his team were ahead of the market, okay? So this car wasn't just put together in a, with a pen and paper in a design studio. It had to be properly developed. And bear in mind, extra development meant taking the car back to Lang Lang and doing lap after lap after lap after lap with a vibration meter on the boot. You know, HSV as a brand, um, the marketing team, it was all about the customer. My fondness for the HSV brand basically see, starts as when you're growing up, okay? I, I was, uh, uh, my story was a, a bit of a Ford man, okay? Dad was a Ford man, I lost my dad when I was 10. A few years after that, I uh, started working with a lad with a GDR XU1. Okay, and, uh, and, and Brendan and I are friends to today. And that took me off on that journey. Born in a country town, a big country town, Wyala, and we had a lot of tough cars. And uh, there was, uh, you know, A9Xs and L34s and XU1s and GDHOs and V6 Capris and E38, 39 and E49 Chargers would roam the streets on a Sunday. Make no, you know, we, we were out and about. We were a cut, tough car town. I bought myself a a uh, brand new VR Malou in 1994, paid cash. I can still remember going to the dealership and 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 that we counted the cash over the desk. <laughs> Those were the days you wouldn't dream about doing that today. Give me a call and give me a couple of hours and I'll give you the whole story that I can't do in a short video like this. The most important thing about the HSV journey is the people you meet and the friends you make and the camaraderie of it all. Okay, you know, uh, you know th this weekend, uh, you know, there's an auction with, with this particular car, but there's some magnificent cars up for offer. 